Guys, new stock could be on the verge of another massive short squeeze. If you look at the stats right now, there is over 179.2 million shares sold short. Remember, short sellers are guaranteed buyers. They will have to eventually buy back their shares, creating demand for the stock. And with the average trading volume of only 60 million shares per day, that would take maybe around three days for the shares, for the short sellers to completely cover all those shorts. Now, if we get into a situation where buying becomes rampant and the stock starts rallying fast and the shorts don't even have time to react, they're going to be rushing to the exit, creating even more ballistic demand for NEO stock. Why do I think a short squeeze is about to happen? Very important few points. First of all, Tesla here in China announced that they are going to do a price increase by 5,000 RMB for the Model Y starting on the 1st of April. And that has induced a lot of panic and some people are rushing in to buy the Model Y right now. But that also means that starting in April, very soon we're going to see uh, lower deliveries for the Model Y compared to the last few weeks of March because of the price increase. Now, coincidentally, NEO right now also has a very attractive policy that has been heavily incentivized, giving away 96 free battery swap vouchers. Absolutely crazy. A lot of people are purchasing the car right now. So a lot of the pessimism for NEO stock and those short sellers would argue that deliveries have been faltering, it's lower. And yes, that's the case, but you they are not prepared to see deliveries, weekly deliveries, potentially double or even 3x, all right? I'm talking about weekly deliveries going to 4,000 vehicles per week, 4,000, 5,000 per week due to these incentives. They are not ready to see those numbers and when that happens you know they're going to be in for shock they're going to be all shocked up also the sentiment here towards neo has really changed a lot um, because some other companies all right that sell hybrids i'm not going to mention their name i've talked about them many times on this channel they've gotten into even more scandalous stuff all right the newest scandal that they got into for example uh, it was discovered that some of their vehicles have both CATL batteries and some other unknown brands battery and it's not being disclosed and it's random. So if you are a customer of that brand, you could potentially be getting the CATL battery, which is the one that, you know, is the good one or the one that isn't the good one. All right. So. I'm not going to say which brand it is. You guys might know which brand it is. Also, this brand have got into some other scandalous stuff for hiding the price cuts from existing uh, customers, existing owners of those vehicles. That's also pissed off a lot of people. And the sentiment has really changed in favor of NEO. And let me just clarify with some of the more scandalous stuff of that other company, which I, which I shall not name but you guys can comment down below if you guys know what it is for example they paint steel into the color of aluminum just to make it seem like aluminum uh-huh yeah how crazy is that how crazy is that uh they make their speed limit uh the the, the speedometer actually display a higher speed than the actual speed of the car hence giving higher efficiency all right you think you're you're getting very good highway efficiency but you're actually driving at a slower speed and they did that on purpose how crazy is that also their way of calculating the the distance that their car can travel all right the distance that their car can travel also uh, they use some kind of weird calculation that just causes the overall energy consumption to be a lot less all right, it displays a lot less than what it actually is, which is very strange, which is very strange. But overall, what that has caused is a shift and people are 
more in favor of brands like Neo, where the quality of the material is there. You know, they use aluminum steel hybrid, uh, high quality stuff, good safety rating and no compromises and nothing scandalous like we're gonna use a cheaper battery just for profit and we're not gonna tell people about it you it's all about luck you get it you might randomly get that good one the CTL battery or you might get the bad one it's all down to luck like no Neo never does anything like that all right and, and people are seeing Neo CEO as more of a down-to-earth positive great guy and people are uh, indeed loving the company more so you're really starting to see that reflect on the deliveries of that other so-called company doing some devious stuff to boost their profit and, and essentially sell more cars but you know it's it's hitting them people are finding this out and they are discovering these devious tactics that they're using and deliveries for that company have started to decrease as for neil even amongst all the different automaker brands and and the ceos lots of people have been praising neo ceo even the ceo of geely motors they he publicly praised neo ceo here have a listen william is a good friend and there are also a lot of exchanges and sharing between each other i think about the future trend there will definitely be some mergers and acquisitions in other industries i feel that all kinds of situations will arise nio is a very good company all aspects can go more into detail do more communication and sharing between them. Some discussion. Geely is always open to more cooperation. Some other brands, they're also like making phones and stuff and they're uh, quoting Willem Lee and his revolutionary new way of thinking, um, making phones to have better connectivity with the car. So the overall sentiment towards Neo has really increased. It's gotten, it's gotten better over... Uh, the past couple of weeks and that's really about to reflect on the deliveries and those deliveries will absolutely shock the short sellers the short sellers are not ready and it's become very easy for uh, the short sellers to short new stock and i believe these short sellers have gotten complacent they think it's easy money and every anytime they think anything is easy money that's when they get squeezed the hell out of them and i believe i firmly believe that we are at that point where short sellers have gotten complacent with new stock thinking it's just easy money just short and then you know it's guaranteed profit and even on a lot of chat boards you see that as well people are just very very bearish on the company but here's my warning to you guys to the shorts be careful all right there might be a big short squeeze coming and you might be caught with your pants off now very importantly what's my outlook for new stock i think the stock right now we're teetering at five we might drop a bit lower to 4.7 you know the past couple of weeks we did drop to 4.78 ish 4.8 ish you know i i really think that we need to completely fill the gap down at 4.7 so that means hitting 4.7 and even like 4.69 ish all right, that would fill the gap, and I think that would be like the the bottom for now, and then we would see a sizable rally up to seven. So a short squeeze up to seven. Of course, if the snowball keeps rolling, then we might exceed that price, exceed seven, maybe go to nine or ten. But I do believe seven would be a roof. That would be very difficult to break above because that used to be the floor um, many, many months ago. So $7 is a very critical level to pay attention to. And if we do break above that, then ooh, we might be in uh, a, a new bullish market. But if we don't, just be careful, all right? But short squeeze, going to short squeeze probably up until to $7 a share possibly and even from now you know up to seven that's like what 30 40 percent gain that's something to look out for and for the short sellers yeah something to be careful of all right 180 million shares short absolutely incredible it's gonna take three days for them to cover all of it good luck to the shorts man i hope they're ready I, they're probably having sleepless nights all it takes is a few weeks of great deliveries to absolutely wreck the shorts and that's gonna happen.
I know it will happen. All right. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.